Yo, it's Good Gritty Gang, it's Jay Gritty back with another video. Today's video, we're going to talk about pants, because pants is really important when it comes to dressing and style an outfit, because a good pair of pants can make an outfit look cold, or a bad pair of pants can make the outfit look terrible. So, without further ado, we're going to hop right into it. In this video, I'm going to give you guys a rundown of kind of like the different types of pants, where to get them, um, some affordable options, some higher end options. I'm going to also talk about just some different places where you could go and you can browse around if you don't really know what you're looking for. Now, the different types of pants I would say are probably denim, track or like athletic pants, cargos, chino pants, bondage pants, nylon, leather, and like maybe like sweatpants or something like that. Now to start it off, I want to talk about like some more affordable places and brands where you can get this kind of stuff because majority of people don't have a high or big budget to go and spend on pants. Although I think pants, if you're spending a lot of money on, I'd probably spend a lot of money on pants because there's something that you can wear more than once and nobody's going to really notice or care if you wear the same pants often. So investing in a good pair of pants is probably a good option. But here are some affordable ones. Now the first brand you have Minimal and Minimal typically carries denim, cargo pants, track pants, pretty much everything. Um, they're one of those brands that are like more on top of the trend. So if something's like really in, you can go to Minimal and find a similar style for a lot cheaper. Usually their denims don't run too far over like $60, I, I believe, somewhere around that range. So usually it's under 100, so this is one of those like more affordable brands. Now another two general brands that kind of carry everything is like PacSun and Urban Outfitters. These are two places that I would go if I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't even know what kind of style I'm looking for. These are places that like carry pretty much everything and a lot of variations of brands. So if you're wanting to go and just browse around, these are places I would check. Now a place that I've received denim before is a brand called Golden Denim. They pretty much are only specialized in denim. I've only got denim from them. One of the pair of pants that I got are these kind of blended kind of pair I guess you could call it but it goes from like a dark denim to a light denim with this like cool dye type of wash. Another pair that I also got from them was one that had like cargo pockets on them so it was like denim cargo pockets. Their pants usually run a lot tighter and a lot skinnier so keep that in mind when you're going to shop maybe you want to go a size up or maybe you want to say true to size but kind of just depends on your preference now a brand that i've been talking about a lot recently on this channel is a brand called profound aesthetics and they carry more of like cargo or chino type of pants but they do also have denim so i wanted to show you guys a pair that i just recently got from them this pair right here is a black i believe it's called like the hand art the hand art pair so this is pretty much if you were to take like a marker and draw on your pants, which a lot of people do. The reason I got this one is specific because the black on black looks a lot cooler than the typical blue with like a black marker on top of it. So went ahead and checked out these to see how they how they was looking, man. Also, they have these D-ring cargo pants, which I thought were crazy. They actually have a lot of different colorways in this pair of pants. I think they have like a red. They might have a denim too, but these are crazy and just the way they sit and the way that the pockets look in general is in my taste. Now I was able to get a discount code for y'all, so if you do want to shop at Profound, you can use my code JG20 and it'll get you 20% off of your order. It doesn't even have to be pants, it can just be anything. Now next up on the list we got a brand called Trip NYC. Now you probably know about this brand if you've been watching my stuff for a minute now because I got these bondage pants right here from them, and Trip NYC is where I would go to get bondage pants. They typically carry a lot of more grunge, rock star type of style pants, so they have a lot of bondage pants. They have a lot of um, just like plaid pants, just a, a bunch of crazy colors and stuff like that. So definitely check them out. Now next up on the list we have Manier Devore. Now this is a perfect example of what I was just talking about with the hand drawn pants is a pair of pants that I got from them recently and they have that same hand drawn on it. Um, but they actually have like a lot of cool details and stuff like that. But they're typically a brand where I would go to maybe get like cargos or dinner. Last but not least on the affordable side of things we have Amazon. Amazon is one of those places where I would just go to find cargos. Like I, I never really looked on Amazon for any denim. I have looked on there for bondage pants which I believe is where I found the Chip NYC joint. So maybe you could just find some different variations of pants but I probably wouldn't go in there to find 
denim specifically, but I don't know, you know what I'm saying? So I just check out cargoes on Amazon. Now we have your higher end brands. Now these are brands that I just put on the list maybe just because I'm interested in them. I like their pieces or they have specific designs to their brand. Now this first brand is Represent Clothing. Now they kind of are on that trendier side where they kind of like follow waves but at the same time they have a lot of dope stuff on there and I recently came across um, their cargo pants which have like these crazy pockets like in the front and on the side so that's the reason why I threw this brand in there just for those pants specifically so if you're looking for like a higher end cargo I would definitely check them out this brand runs a little bit more than everything else is why it's on this list um, you can typically see a range of like maybe 180 to like 300 so now next up we have a young designer out of New York and he goes by the name of Ev Bravado and basically I put him on this list because he makes a specific type of look that is in trend right now and that's that bag your type of distressed denim on top of being dyed so he runs in this lane that has like dyed denim and it goes from like jackets to pants to kind of like whatever you know what i'm saying so he has a unique process and i think he has a unique look and should definitely be checked out next up we got val christopher now i kind of talked about him in the last video but he basically makes denim like he's denim specific but he makes the sample type of denim so it kind of looks unfinished which is the perfection of it so he's definitely somebody who is newer and definitely more solid of a name now than he was so definitely give him a look he has a lot of dope pieces next up we have fear god now fear god is a brand that obviously is copied by a lot of other people especially with kind of like the side zipper in the inside and some of just his joggers and stuff like that now it's kind of ironic that i said that because moving into the next person we have rick owens and i feel like sometimes a lot of the Fear of God stuff was inspired by Rick Owens, but Rick Owens in general is kind of known for their cargoes, especially those front pocket cargo and those kind of like natural tone colors. It's usually just like a black, uh, like a gray or like a sand color. You get what I'm saying? So now next up we have Amiri and Balmain, Balmain, however you want to pronounce it. But these are two brands that I feel like are kind of similar as far as the lane goes. Amiri is more like that patchwork type of denim and carrying like distressed denim and stuff like that and then Balmain is kind of more biker denim they were like the ones who started that whole trend so kind of like a similar lane obviously they're not exact but they're put in like that same level I don't even know how to explain it. now second to last on the list we have undercover now undercover carries a lot of different type of designs that are completely original and I think they're fire one of them is the autumn winter 05 I think it was like the arts and crafts joint or something like that I'm not too sure on like all the archive type of pieces but these were a pair of pants that had like the all-over distressing that minimal actually made a, a kind of like a replica pair so I just think these pairs are crazy because the overall distressing all over is in a different way to where it's not like just the regular holes in the knees or holes in the thighs. So now they also made the Rebel God joints and those are fire to me because that print across like the crotch area looks dope. And I, I know a lot of other people made them like, um, what was it like ice cream with the running dog joints? But Undercover also carries, I think it was like a 68 denim or something like that and they have like the little red yarn on it and I think personally that those are very good looking pair of denim. Now this last brand doesn't really specialize in denim I guess but they have made a lot of dope pieces in their recent collection and that is Alix. Now obviously we know Alix for the buckles but in this last collection they made a pair of pants that I thought had to be on this list because they're so unique. Now these are the pump pants. Now I had to throw these on the list. I seen them on Bloody Osiris and pretty much they have this design where they kind of look like overalls. Like they have like, you know if you wear overalls down, that's what they kind of look like and they have like those same type of bondage pants straps and I just think they're dope. They also made like leather pants that had this snakeskin pattern on them and I thought they were crazy so definitely had to add them on the list. So that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you go down and you hit the like button. I need you guys to hit the like button, especially if you made it this far. But besides that, I have more videos for you guys coming soon. Always you can go down in the comments and recommend a brand or anything like that 
or you can just give me a video idea of something you wanted to see. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back to you with more. Peace.